Hey guys, it's Jeff. I'd like to talk to you today about the digital CO2 controller from Blueprint. This is the BDCC1. It has fuzzy logic technology, so it's going to learn your room. It's going to distribute the CO2 accordingly. Um, you can hook this up to a bottle. You can go LP or natural gas as far as generators go. It's really going to do everything you need it to do as far as CO2 distribution in your, in your grow room. Um, you know, you've got a photo cell. So you've got your on, your day and nighttime functions. Uh, so many different features as far as being very, very particular about what your levels are. So if you wanted to do 1207, you can do it. So whatever it is. Um, you've got a three year warranty, uh, integrated circle board for added protection. Um, there's just a, a ton of different features to this thing. Uh, you've got the built in CO2 safety function. And then there's also um, 120 volts uh, as far as input. For more information on the BDCC1, check out BlueprintController's.com and see what Blueprint Controllers can do for you. This is the instructional video for the Blueprint Digital CO2 Controller, the BDCC1. Restoring Factory Settings Hold the Enter Reset and Down Arrow button for 3 seconds. The display will read F Set. Press the Enter Reset button again to restore the default factory settings. When the process is complete, the display will read D-O-N-E. It may take up to 15 seconds to complete the process. Selecting Controller Settings CO2 PPM Setting Press the PPM Setting button to display the current CO2 PPM setting. Use the up and down arrow buttons to find the desired setting. Press Enter Reset to accept the new setting. CO2 Dead Band Press the Dead Band button to display the current CO2 Dead Band setting. Use the up and down arrow buttons to find the desired setting. Press Enter Reset to accept the new setting. CO2 Function Press the Day-Night 24-Hour button to display the photo cell setting. Use the up and down arrow buttons to find the desired setting. Press Enter Reset for 3 seconds to accept the new setting. CO2 Mode Press the Mode button to display the current CO2 mode. Use the up and down arrow buttons to find the desired setting. Press Enter Reset to accept the new setting. Minimum Maximum Recall Press the Min Max button to display the recorded minimum and maximum CO2 values. Press the button repeatedly to cycle through the values. To reset a Min Max value, press Enter Reset when the value is displayed. Fuzzy Logic Mode counters rising or falling CO2 levels by quickly activating the CO2 solenoid valve, allowing CO2 levels to be controlled more precisely. This function can be used only with compressed CO2. Do not use Fuzzy Logic with a CO2 generator. Press the Fuzzy Logic button and then use the up and down arrow buttons to choose between Fuzzy Logic Mode if using compressed CO2 and Generator Mode if using a CO2 generator. Hold Enter Reset for 3 seconds to accept the setting. Adjusting Photo Cell Sensitivity To change the photo cell sensitivity, hold the down arrow button for 3 seconds. The current setting will be displayed. Press the up button to increase the number displayed, decreasing the amount of light required to activate the photo cell. Press the down arrow button to decrease the number displayed, increasing the amount of light required to activate the photo cell. Press Enter Reset to accept the new setting. Calibrating the CO2 sensor. Place the controller and sensor outdoors in a shaded area. Avoid placing it near people or other sources of CO2 emission. If the unit is calibrated in a high traffic or high populated area, a slightly higher calibration value of 400 to 475 ppm is recommended. Plug in the controller and allow it to warm up for a minimum of 30 minutes, but one hour or more is recommended for optimal calibration. 
Press the Calibrate Sensor button to activate automatic calibration. Do not breathe on the unit while the calibration function is activated. Press Enter Reset to start the calibration sequence. CO2 Cal will be displayed and the Calibrate Sensor LED will blink. link. Calibration will take about 10 minutes. When it is complete, the screen will display normal functions. Calibration will not affect any of the other settings. CO2 Disable Function To reduce CO2 waste when an exhaust fan is running, the provided low voltage power supply may be used to connect the controller to a standard environmental controller operating the exhaust fan. When the environmental controller activates the exhaust fan, the controller will deactivate the CO2 output. A small LED on the controller indicates when the CO2 disable function is active. Thank you for watching. Go to blueprintcontrollers.com for more information.